I work with a limited palette of warm and cool colors, primaries and one white and one transparent earth red. Pretty much I make my mother colors and then I will adjust them as I go. The benefit of the limited palette is, well, for plein air, first of all, is to be able to travel light, to be able to learn and understand the color wheel, and then you learn how to make all of your secondary colors, your purples, your greens, and your oranges. Use a black. I can make my own darks. From those darks, I can also make my own grays. If I want a good dark, and I want it to be on the warm side, the transparent earth red is warmer than the ultramarine, the blue. Then when I add white to it, it's more of a browny gray. If I add more blue to it, I'm gonna get a color. It's gonna be more in the middle of a gray. And then when I want to make more of a brown, I can use that and then I can tint it with colors as I go and get right down into an orange. Colors have a temperature, so obviously the two yellows, so this is a cooler color because it has more blue in it. This is a warmer color because it's closer to the red. It's got a bit of, it's a little bit more on the orange side. Temperature-wise, in terms of the two reds, the cadmium red light is closer to the yellow. It's obviously more of an orange color. The alizarin crimson is a very cool red. It's got blue in it. So if I was going to make a purple, the obvious choice would be the alizarin because it's got blue. Like magic, that's a nice purple. If you take the cadmium red light, because it's got so much yellow in it, it's not the pretty purple. You can really see the difference just by that. I like my greens to stay pretty warm on the olive side. So if I only use this cadmium yellow medium with my blue and tint it with some reds, I'm always going to stay on that side. So this is cadmium yellow medium and ultramarine. So let me show you the difference between mixing cadmium lemon. Same blue, two different yellows. See how cool that is? Temperature-wise, I didn't add anything to these. It's just this and this is this, this and this is this. Adding white to anything will cool it down. White isn't always your friend. It doesn't always give you the colors that you want. So instead of using white, I'm just gonna keep adding my yellow and then slowly get to the point where I'm just going to have to add a little teeny bit of the other yellow and a little bit of white just to get that value down to a pretty light color. 